Hello everybody, Caden here today with another episode of our Aquarium series. And uh, yeah, it's much like I mentioned in yesterday's video, It's it's been a fair while. I think it's been about two weeks since the last episode of this. So uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> on that wonderful note, uh, another wonderful note. Today we're doing the Arctic area, much like you probably saw in the thumbnail and the title and everything else. You guys already know what's going on. Um, <laughs> Now, it's a bit different than I originally planned. This ended up being an outdoor area, which I think was suggested by someone in the comments of one of the videos. Honestly, I feel bad. I always mention someone brought something up in the comments, but I never really remember when it was because I'm very bad at remembering that stuff. I'll have to work on that, you know? Maybe I should work on doing better at that. But anyway, uh, we're doing this big open air outdoor area and we're gonna do three of the exhibits now. Unfortunately, there is no in-person building today because part of this was recorded during uh, well, I was sitting through a lecture uh, for uh, university, so uh, yeah, uh, there's not. I didn't really have time or the ability to do a first-person build, so yeah. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the time lapse. It's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I think we get three animals in, being seals, the polar bear, and a variety of penguins, which is pretty cool. It's actually a lot of fun, and I think the exhibits turn out really well. Uh, somewhat different. Th than different execution, same style as the previous Arctic exhibits we've done. Although no snow this time around since they're outside. And I was like, you know, snow on a, I was about to say a tropical island. This isn't a tropical island, isn't it? It's it's far more of like a, uh, a temperate island, I guess. Who knows? Anyway, um, some uh, administrative administration type things to talk about with this series, you know, and whatnot. Also, you can see me there messing with around with World Edit and not getting any success, which was wonderful. I love, I love when World Edit does that. It's so nice. Um, yeah, this series. So um, that actually leads very <laughs> handily enough. And I know I mentioned this later in the video, but uh, the. Uh, this series in general, this Arctic area, was almost not going to happen. Um, I, I had been messing around with the world a bunch and couldn't really figure out where I wanted this to go and nothing was really working. So I, I, I basically was just about to be like, all right, you know what? We're just gonna do the final build. That's it. And then the next episode later this week will be the last one. So yeah, that was going to happen, but it didn't. We, we have this and there will be another episode later this week, which will be finishing up the final, maybe one, maybe two exhibits I didn't get to today. So uh, yeah, now uh, you'll notice the, the, the big exhibit at the bottom of the screen right now, right next to the building, that's our polar bear exhibit. The exhibit next to it didn't get built today. So uh, yeah, you guys will get to wait and see what that is. And there's a potential fifth exhibit that I might build, uh, depending on whether or not I can figure out how to get it to work properly. You know, always a struggle. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, that's, that's one of the big things is uh, there is a next episode, one more episode basically, and that'll hopefully just be a mostly first person one where we're gonna work on uh, this whole area, getting it finished up. And then next week, we'll have the last two episodes of this aquarium series and we'll be completely done with it. Um, we'll probably put the world up for download. Again, it's very unstable and does kind of require a hefty computer. So I'm not sure how many people will actually be able to run this thing. Uh, and it's got quite the mod list, which I need to update at some point, I think. But anyway, anyway, um, yeah. This is one of the final episodes. Uh, this is basically the last big build we're going to do. We have one other build uh, next week we're going to do. And then next Thursday, next Thursday? No, next Friday. So not this Friday, if you're watching this today, it goes up the next Friday. Uh, yeah, we're going to have the final world tour and uh, the world download and all that, which is kind of funny because I did a world tour last episode. So yeah, you know kind of an odd thing, but whatever. You know what, it, it, it's it's fine, it's fine. It's all working out all right. Um, but yeah, that is, that, that's that. It's kind of weird. But at the same time, I think it's, we, we're kind of, you know, getting to that point where this series is definitely at its end. We've, I, I don't even think we've spent 20 episodes on it, but you know, we've, we've finished the main building. We've finished most of the primary stuff we wanted to get done. And now it's just, you know, working on these smaller projects here and there that I wanted to get uh, added to this whole build that people really wanted to see. So yeah, we're just kind of working on that right now. And uh, yeah, I think we're getting, gonna get some last cool little builds, but uh, yeah. Speaking of which, I probably need to set up <laughs> either a post or a video or something, just asking you guys what you want to see for the uh, 
for the next uh, zoo series, be it another wildlife park series, or I don't know, what, what else can we do? Planet Zoo, maybe. Or maybe we run Planet Zoo and Wildlife Park. Who knows? You never know, right? Right? Um, but yeah, anyway, despite whatever happens after this series ends, I'm sure there'll probably be a week where I don't do anything with any Minecraft Zoo series, just so I can kind of figure out what I want to get done and have time to set it up. Although, I will say, there is one thing I know I'm going to do if we do another Zoo series. It's, uh, in Minecraft at least, we are only going to be using the Zawa mod for, uh, for the animals and stuff. Uh, Mostly just so that way I can kind of uh, keep the animal number a bit lower and we'll just, I don't know, we can either focus on just trying to get everything from Zawa or we can try and, uh, I don't know, we can do just some of the animals. Who knows? We'll figure it out later, right? You know, I don't need to plan all that right now. But yeah, anyway, this is ba the basics of the area. Um, obviously, I've got plans to throw in benches, some decorations, more plants and stuff like that. I just didn't get around to that. Uh, basically, I, I just built three exhibits <laughs> and a uh, patio, and that's about that. Also, this is three time lapses, so you're gonna see some weird little cuts here and there, and that's 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 fine, you know. It's just the way it is, just the way things are, right? You know, you know, get you get used to that. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, you can see me here basically just switching out all the interiors for the uh, what are they called? Uh, like the Basically, again, if you've seen the previous Wildlife Park Arctic build, uh, you, you get the gist. Basically, I'm just switching out all the rocks for these brownish kind of rocks. I don't know why exactly, I just feel like they have a bit more of an Arctic kind of uh, oceanic feel to them, and I really like the look of it, so uh, yeah. That being said, it's a real pain because I couldn't get half these blocks to work properly with World Edit, so that was so much fun because I couldn't just, you know, place down stone and then switch it all to a auto-generated mixture of all the textures I had to do it by hand, which was uh, not my favorite thing, but you know what, you know what? It was all right, it was all right, you know? Was, it was something. And sometimes something's all you can really get. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, another thing, so this is our seal exhibit. I, I kind of try to do this one a bit differently. Basically, uh, you'll see there's that, that pathway leading there from the, har the harbor. <laughs> there's not a harbor, the pier. Um, and basically, I was just kind of like, okay, there, you know, there's usually some sort of animal exhibit that's connected up to the outside of the uh, of the aquarium or the zoo. So, pe you know, when you're walking through to the entrance, you can kind of go look at something cool, right? And, you know, kind of draws you in and whatnot. And I felt like the seals were probably the best bet for that, um, just because, and I think, oh, what mod? I think they're Aquatic Odyssey seals, if, if I'm correct. Um, yeah, I think they are the Aquatic Odyssey ones. I'm not 100% on that, but I, I think that's the case. So, uh, yeah, that's that's that. Um, I, I'm pretty happy with how the texture of these overall builds looked. I think I should have spent a bit, maybe a bit more time just trying to find more textures to kind of mix in there. Because I'd kind of forgotten last time it wasn't as big of a deal because I, I had snow and was just throwing snow everywhere to kind of, you know mask any issues I wasn't particularly happy with, but uh, yeah, I couldn't really do that this time around because, you know, it's outdoors on an island and uh, yeah, not not really an Arctic island, so snow wouldn't really, uh, snow wouldn't really fit. But I do, again, I really like these builds. I really like the penguin exhibit. I think it's my favorite uh, just for how it looks overall. It's, it's got a cool little aesthetic to it. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I think I think that's really all I've got to say. So I'm gonna let the rest of this play out and uh, I'll catch back up with you guys at the, uh, the end of the episode.
All right, everybody, and here we are with the uh, three basically finished exhibits. Um, let me show there's little things I could do here and there to make them look a little bit nicer, but overall, pretty happy with how this has all turned out. Um, yeah, for a build, I, to be honest, I was very heavily, like I'm sure I mentioned in that time, I was very heavily debating whether or not this was even going to happen. Um, Mostly just because, A, the spacing is a bit odd on it. Uh, I couldn't really figure out where it was going to go. Although, you know, I, I think I think how I've integrated it does work fairly well. Like, you know, it makes sense, you know. There's usually an outdoor area with some sort of exhibit animal at any zoo type thing, right? So that makes sense. And I feel like the entrance works for the most part as well. You know, it's just off this side of the ticket booth. So, you know, that that, that works and whatnot. But uh, yeah, overall, pretty happy with it. Um, but yeah, just because it was a bit of a weird thing to build and didn't know exactly where it was going to go, I was, I was getting very close to just deciding, all right, it's not happening. We're not doing the Arctic stuff. Uh, we're just going straight on to uh, the last build I have planned, and then that's it. <laughs> but no, I decided to come back and do this, and unfortunately, we are not going to get to the final animal today. Um, mostly because now that I've decided to do this project, I need one more episode of it. So next episode, we'll come back, we'll build this, we'll spend a whole good amount of time working on it. Uh, and then also just decorating all of this out and making it look really nice. So yeah, hopefully that'll all look really good. Um, I guess I need to talk a bit more, don't I? <laughs> so, um, some things, uh, a lot of this is kind of just built, honestly, off responses to the last time I did something like this in the, the wildlife park world. Uh, first being that people were very upset that my polar bear exhibit was way too small last time. So this one's a fair bit bigger than that one was, and I decided to only put one polar bear in. So it, I think personally this is a much better enclosure for it. I think it looks better, uh, has a better feel to it. Second off, I, I mean, well, I didn't even really fix this one. It's still like the same thing. People complained a ton last time about the fact that I had penguin, like emperor penguins and uh, what are these ones even called? Uh, banded penguins, which I believe are from South Africa. Uh, together in an exhibit and everyone kind of lost their collective minds and oh my goodness that animation is insane that is that is far too adorable <gasps> oh that's so cute that is adorable I love them oh man we're definitely bringing these back for the next park we definitely are um but yeah anyway um yeah, I did decide and end up going actually with a suggestion. I don't even know when this was left. Uh, I think maybe it actually been last episode, maybe. Who knows? It's been a while again since I recorded this. Uh, but someone did obviously suggest I uh, make this an open air area instead of doing it indoors like everything else. And I do actually really like that idea. Um, and I think it's worked pretty well uh, overall. This area has a much different kind of nice feel compared to... You know, I mean, well, I do love the feel of the aquarium, but, you know, they're, they're two very different builds with two very different identities and kind of like, you know, uh, ways they're supposed to look. And I, I really like that this one just has such a different feel to it. it, it it's actually really cool. It makes me very happy. And I forgot, do the penguins actually swim? I, like, you know, like have proper swimming animations. I kind of want to check. I'm assuming since they're Zawa, they do. Yes, they do. That is fantastic. Can we see it from... No, we can't. Oh, yep, we can. That's amazing. I love this. I also do like that it's not like... I mean, it is a somewhat more taiga type theme. Obviously, we've got like, you know, the darker rocks and whatnot. But I think overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy that this isn't just straight up snow. Like, you know, it's... Is that a little baby one? Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I love these things. They're amazing. Um, but yeah, I like the, I like the more... I don't know, outdoorsy kind of feel to it. I think it looks really good overall. And uh, yeah, I think that's really all I should say at this point. Uh, so yeah, next episode we'll build, be building this exhibit and maybe another exhibit over here somewhere. We'll kind of see, it just depends. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's the plan for now. So anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed this. And until next time, guys. See ya.